Okay, hello. Uh, this is uh, James here, Thrive Programme Consultant based in Cambridge, and I've got Tim with me. Tim has very, very kindly agreed to do a little interview with me um, based on his experience of going through the Thrive Programme. So hi, Tim, and thanks very much for coming along. Okay, Tim, uh, you came to see me uh, looking for help to overcome a particular issue. What was that issue? Uh, it was a metaphobia, a fear of being sick. Yeah. Okay. And how serious was the issue when you came to see me? Uh, about as serious as it gets. For about three or four years, I just didn't, I didn't really leave the house. All right. Yeah. The camera was loose, very long. Lost a lot of weight, very unhealthy, and to the point, didn't really want to continue. So, so yeah, so it's pretty serious, really. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, and what is the quality of your life like now? It's a lot better. Slowly getting back into a normal life, going to college, planning to go to university, yeah. all these things that I was going to do three or four years ago, but got pushed back, but now happening and it's all moving forward. Yeah, that, that, that's great. And, you know, like you were saying, you know, you were more or less a recluse before you started this program. And one of the things that I'm really impressed with is the fact that you're doing a lot of voluntary work now, working in a food bank and doing all sorts of different things and actually now thinking, actually getting your UCAS application form in to go to uni, so that's great. Yeah. It's all good stuff. Uh, so what did you learn in particular from doing the programme with me? I think that I can, you know, I can manage my thinking that the phobia didn't just happen to me. I created it, I was maintaining it by doing safety of these and actually, I want to stop doing that. You stop doing that, have the styles, it just goes. And you can, you can be here, you just got to put the effort in. You yeah, 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 excellent. Um, and, and what strategies, activities, or exercises did you like and benefit from in particular? I definitely focusing the positives. Mm. You know, I did find it quite hard at the beginning to actually just think of stuff to do, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And then it's hard not to feel good when you're constantly writing down or going over all the good things that have happened the last couple of weeks. Yes, yeah. And though I don't do it five or six times a day now, I do a little journal at the end of each day and in the morning, just write down the good things that have happened the last day, you know, what I'm grateful for. And yeah. That's quite quite powerful to do. It makes you feel good to yeah. start the day off. Excellent, excellent. Uh, what advice would you give to somebody thinking about doing the, the Thrive Programme? Just to go, go for it. Completely like go full on. Don't half-heartedly do it because you won't benefit as much if you, you know, do the work each and every day. It doesn't have to be a lot. You know, Twenty minutes yeah. each and every day yeah. is all you really need, and you can do it if you just put the effort in. Your your benefit and your overcome it. Yeah, yeah, excellent, excellent. Um, I know that you've tried lots of interventions in the past. You were telling me that you've had quite a lot of CBT in the past. So how different was the Thrive program compared to those other interventions that you've tried? Well, I think all the other ones sort of, um, they teach you how to cope with it and how to live with it. Mm. Or it's five, teach you how to overcome it. it. teaches that you don't need to have this for the rest of your life. You can beat it. You can you know, live your life in the future without having this to worry about, which is a big change to okay, we'll teach you how to deal with it, actually, no, you can overcome it. It's yes. quite positive. And you, as soon as you hear that at the start, you're already feeling that this could work. Um, yeah. And all the other times, I didn't really think they could they could actually benefit me. I just thought, well, oh, try it. What's the harm it could do? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've lost count of the number of clients with emetophobia that I've worked with that have said that... that the therapists that they'd been to see said the best that you can help is that you can learn to live with it. Yeah. It must be so disheartening. Um, but as you know, you can overcome emetophobia. Okay. Um, so what are you doing now to ensure that you keep thriving? I think, like I said, the grateful journal and the positives just reminds you each day of five things you're grateful for. It can't be much. And all the positives that happened in the last couple of days and we keep, I find that I kept doing that, keeps me in touch with thriving even if I'm not constantly doing it because I'm not doing as many unhelpful thinking styles. But 
also I've got loads of posters up on my wall reminding you of all the unhelpful stuff, all the stuff that includes how to not do it, which is very helpful because every time I walk past, I just have a quick read and it just reminds you that, yeah, if you're having a bad day or you're doing this, you understand why you're doing it and you understand how to not do it anymore. Yeah, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Tim. Thank you very much for your time and for agreeing to be interviewed today. And um, all the very best with your future. And, we'll, and we'll, we'll catch up soon. Okay, we'll catch up soon. Okay, cheers, Tim. Thanks. Bye-bye now.